to be honest, I was, I was scared. I said no. Get your so get out of my house. This is my house. The reason why I left Angie, that I, I was treated like I'm just a nobody. That's just how I put it, you know, it's worse. House is because, I mean, it's very, very sad, you know. I feel like I'm, I'm an unwanted guest. Like, I, I wasn't treated like I'm a husband. I'm Welcome back. The saga of Angela Deem and Michael Ilisanmi has been one of the most tumultuous relationships in the history of 90 Day Fiancé. Their love story, marked by cultural differences, distance, and an age gap, has kept viewers on the edge of their seats. However, recent developments have taken their roller coaster relationship to new legal heights, involving accusations of deceit, betrayal, and exploitation. When Angela and Michael first began discussing their future together, they dreamed of building a life in both Nigeria and the United States. They imagined a home where they could eventually settle down after navigating the complexities of the K, one visa process and Michael's eventual move to the United States. Angela, always the assertive and dominant partner, took the lead in these plans. She was determined to ensure that they had a place they could call their own, a place where Michael could feel secure after leaving everything he knew behind in Nigeria. Together, they decided to invest in a home. Angela took charge of handling the paperwork, financing, and legal aspects, given that she was the one living in the U.S. at the time. Michael, on the other hand, contributed financially, particularly from the earnings they made together through their appearances on TLC's 90 Day Fiancé and related spin-offs. The home symbolized not just a physical space, but the future they both envisioned, despite the many obstacles they faced in their relationship. For me to leave, for me to have left, rather, I mean, it was, uh, it had gotten to to my to to the point i couldn't just bear it anymore however as time passed and the pressures of their relationship began to mount cracks started to appear in their seemingly solid plans angela's fiery temper and domineering personality often clashed with michael's more reserved and traditional demeanor the distance cultural differences and angela's suspicions of infidelity only added fuel to the fire the couple's frequent arguments many of which played out on national television began to take a toll on their marriage Unbeknownst to Michael, while he was in Nigeria, Angela was making decisions that would drastically alter the course of their relationship and his future. When the time came to finalize the purchase of their home, Angela made a fateful decision. She excluded Michael's name from the property documents. In her mind, this was a way to protect herself from potential betrayal, given the many doubts she harbored about Michael's loyalty. As the months went by, the couple's relationship continued to deteriorate. Angela's accusations and controlling behavior became more intense, often leading to heated arguments that left both parties emotionally drained. The one strong bond they shared seemed to be unraveling, and with each passing day, the trust they had in each other eroded further. The situation reached its breaking point when Angela, in the midst of another explosive argument, demanded that Michael leave the house. She coldly informed him that he had no right to the property, as his name was not on the deed. Michael was stunned. The home he had invested in, both emotionally and financially, was being ripped away from him. He felt betrayed, not just as a husband, but as a partner who had believed in their shared future. This revelation was a devastating blow to Michael. He had always trusted Angela to do what was best for both of them, and now it seemed that trust had been severely misplaced. The realization that Angela had intentionally excluded him from something as significant as their home left him feeling vulnerable and powerless. He couldn't believe that the woman he had married, the one he had fought so hard to be with, would betray him in such a calculated manner. Desperate and unsure of what to do, Michael began to seek advice from friends and family. They encouraged him to take action, to fight for what was rightfully his. Michael, though hesitant at first, knew he couldn't let this injustice stand. He decided to seek legal counsel to understand his rights and to see if there was any way to reclaim what he had lost. Michael's decision to pursue legal action was not made lightly. He understood the complexities of international marriage and the legal hurdles that came with it. However, he was determined to stand up for himself, not just for the sake of the house, but for his dignity and self-worth. He believed that he deserved to be treated fairly, and he was willing to fight for that belief. The legal process was long and arduous. Michael had to navigate the intricacies of property law, both in the United States and Nigeria, while also dealing with the emotional strain of his crumbling marriage. 
The case quickly garnered attention in the media, with many 90 Day Fiancé fans and commentators speculating about the outcome. Angela, ever the media-savvy personality, tried to downplay the situation, portraying herself as the victim of a man who was only after her money. However, as the case progressed, the truth began to emerge. The court discovered that Michael had been systematically excluded from decisions regarding the property, despite his financial contributions. It was revealed that a significant portion of the money used to purchase the house had come from their joint earnings on TLC, money that Michael had every right to claim a share of. The court also found that Angela had intentionally withheld information from Michael, misleading him about the ownership of the property. After months of legal wrangling, the court finally reached a verdict. Michael was awarded full ownership of the home as compensation for the deceit and exploitation he had suffered. The judge recognized that Michael had been taken advantage of and that Angela's actions were not only unethical but also illegal. The ruling was a significant victory for Michael, who had fought against the odds to reclaim what was rightfully his. For Angela, the verdict was a devastating blow. Her carefully constructed narrative of being the wrong party was shattered, and her reputation took a severe hit. Many fans who had previously supported her began to question her motives and her treatment of Michael. The media, which had once portrayed her as a strong, independent woman, now focused on her manipulative and deceitful actions. Michael's victory was not just about the house, it was about reclaiming his autonomy and self-respect. He had stood up to Angela, a woman who had tried to control every aspect of his life, and he had won. The victory gave him the strength and confidence to move forward, both in his personal life and in his quest to build a better future for himself. In the aftermath of the court case, Michael began to rebuild his life. He focused on his career, using the money he earned from TLC to invest in new ventures and secure his financial future. The house, now his alone, became a symbol of his resilience and determination. He was no longer the naive, love-struck man who had been willing to give up everything for Angelo. He had learned from his experiences and was now wiser, stronger, and more self-assured. Angela, on the other hand, faced a period of reflection and reckoning. The court case and the subsequent media fallout forced her to confront the consequences of her actions. She had lost not only the home, but also the trust and respect of many people who had once admired her. It was a humbling experience, one that made her realize that she could no longer rely on manipulation and control to get what she wanted. The relationship between Angela and Michael, once filled with passion and promise, had now reached its end. The court case had laid bare the deep-seated issues that had plagued their marriage from the beginning. There was no going back, no chance of reconciliation. Both Angela and Michael knew that it was time to move on, to find happiness and fulfillment on their own terms. For Michael, the future was bright. He had emerged from the ordeal with a renewed sense of purpose and direction. The experience had taught him valuable lessons about trust, independence, and the importance of standing up for oneself. He was ready to start a new chapter in his life, one that would be defined by his own choices and decisions, free from the influence of others. As for Angela, the road ahead was less clear. She had to come to terms with the mistakes she had made and the impact they had on her life. The court case had exposed the darker side of her personality, and it was something she could no longer ignore. Whether she would learn from her experiences and grow as a person remained to be seen. In the end, the story of Angela and Michael was one of love, betrayal, and redemption. It was a cautionary tale about the dangers of manipulation and control, and a testament to the power of resilience and determination. Michael's victory was not just a legal triumph, it was a personal one, a victory of the human spirit over adversity. As he looked toward the future, he knew that he was ready for whatever challenges lay ahead, confident in the knowledge that he had the strength to overcome them. Thank you for watching.